Father, take control this morning. Let the joy of the Lord fill our heart. Amen. Fill the sanctuary with your glory. Amen. Empower the world that's coming from above. Amen. We give you praise. Hallelujah. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This morning we are going to look into the second part of the rapture. The rapture is such a thing that is so imminent right now. And I want us to open our heart to receive this teaching this morning. Hallelujah. Prepare yourself and go prayerfully with me. We are going in the second week. We, we've, seen, we've seen the first part last week. And today we are going to look at these surprises. Church, there are surprises that will happen on that day. I'm thinking of that day my Lord shall come. Mm. I'm thinking of that day he shall come. Hallelujah. I'm thinking of that day my Lord shall come. Mm. I wonder what the day shall be. Hallelujah. 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 How many people here this morning are actually expecting his coming how many people in the presence of the lord this morning are actually expecting the coming of the lord only two people are standing hallelujah ah okay let's agree that we are all waiting remain standing how many people are preparing for it because that there are two different things how many people are preparing for the coming of the Lord God, the Lord Jesus Christ, his glorious and triumphant return. All eyes are see him. He is coming. Jesus is coming. How many people here this morning are actually preparing for the return of the Lord? Let me see. Shout a big hallelujah. Hallelujah. And as so I declare in the mighty name of Jesus, may God count us worthy that day. May the Lord empower us in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please take your seat. And I want to let me drop a point. I want to start with it and I'm going to close with it. Whatever you are doing in this life that is a delight in the presence of the Lord, I beg you in the name of Jesus, don't be tired. Keep doing it. Don't be tired in your walk. Don't be tired in your faith. Don't be tired in praying. You don't know when he shall come. We are expecting Jesus. We are expecting Jesus. We are expecting Jesus. We don't know when he shall come. Hallelujah. Jesus is coming. He's coming very soon. He's coming. March on. March on. I'm laying foundation this morning. Don't be weary. The Savior understands. It will be well. Sing it with me, choir. March on. March on. Don't be weary. The Savior understands it will be well. Whatever you are doing in the presence of the Lord and you make God happy, I beg you in the name of Jesus, be careful to violently protect it. Don't stop it. That is what the devil is looking after. Because Satan knows that if you faint, you are not going to get a reward. You will not faint in the name of Jesus. I pray for everybody. If you can say a strong amen. I pray for you this morning. You will not faint. You will not faint. I have come to pray against the spirit of fainting this morning. This is no time to faint. The almighty God is glorious and is powerful. He will not forget to reward your labor of love. I speak the rapture is going to take place and is coming very soon. You have been, you have been trying. You have been trying your best. In, you have been instant in season and out of season. You have been praying. You have been, you have been sacrificing. You have been sowing seed. You have been coming in and out both in the night. You're going in and coming out in the presence of the Lord will not be in vain. 
you will not worship in vain uh, can I hear your amen you will not worship in vain you will not dance in vain you will not pray in vain you will not fast in vain in the name of the father in the name of the son in the name of the Holy Ghost Satan is fighting the Christendom right now with the spirit of fainting where is the strength in the people of the Lord that keeps them serving the Lord in dead winter, they be in the presence of the Lord. Where is that spirit? Where is the spirit that keeps you fasting every time in the presence of the Lord? Where is the spirit that keeps you praying without season? Praise the Lord. The spirit of the living God that keeps you trusting the almighty God in whatever situation. Where is the spirit? March on. Don't be weary. The savior understands what you are going through. I'm here this morning to fight. I to declare war against lukewarmness. War against backsliding. War against the spirit. The spirit, the spirit of, of complacency in the mighty name of Jesus. I speak with the authority of the king of glory you will not fail okay i will not fail in the mighty name of jesus hallelujah now let's 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 let's, let's build our foundation on galatians chapter 6 verse 9 i want us to look at this scripture in three different verses galatians chapter 9 verse uh, chapter 6 verse 9 sorry king king james version and let us and let us watch that and let us not be weary in well doing for in due season we shall reap if we faint not i'm here to encourage you this morning this is no time to faint. Tell your neighbor, this is no time to faint. Say, don't faint, don't faint. March on, don't be weary. It shall be well. Hallelujah. This is no time to faint. Whoever faints now loses the reward of all the waitings of the years. Praise the Lord. I pray in the name of Jesus, you will not faint. Now let us look at how the Amplified Bible puts it. And let us not lose heart and grow weary. And fainting, acting nobly and doing right. For in you come in due time and at the appointed season watch that scripture in due time and at the appointed season don't be tired and doing good there is an appointed time for your reward there is an appointed time for for saying well done thou faithful servant there is an appointed time that god has programmed for your for your time to arrive whether you are trusting god for something and you have been praying for for ages for something and then you say well since all these days i've been praying i am yet to see the answer let me go and try some other things no please your answer is coming you will not break down at the eve of your breakthrough hallelujah hallelujah there is an appointed time appointed season we shall repeat if we do not lose if you do not lose in and relax our courage and faint you will not faint now let us look at the touch point version of the bible galatians chapter 6 verse 9 look at it so don't get tired of doing what is good don't get discouraged and give up for we will reap a harvest of blessing at the appropriate time your harvest is coming your harvest is coming in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Ghost. Can we have somebody to read the scripture? Let's get into the word of God this morning. Let's look at the cry of the watchman in Ezekiel chapter 33. We want to look at verse 2 and 9. These are the prophecies, several thousand years now, of these prophecies that spoke about the coming of the Lord. So it has been right there from time immemorial. Praise the Lord. Son of man speak to the children of your people then you hear this i want you to listen to the introduction son of man so that scripture he's talking to me son of my brother said that is talking to pastor okay okay speak to the children of your people that is talking to me let's go and say to them and say to them when i bring the sword upon the land uh -huh. and the people of the land take a man from uh -huh. their territory uh -huh. and make him their watchman uh -huh. when he sees the sword coming uh -huh. upon the land uh -huh. if he blows the trumpet and warns the people mm -hmm. then whoever hears the sound of the trumpet yes. and does not take warning if uh -huh. the sword comes uh -huh. and takes him away mm -hmm. his blood shall be on his own head hold it praise the lord so the word has come to me and now I'm passing the word to you that the time is coming 
This is the time to get closer to the almighty God. Let's say if the trumpet is not blown. Now the trumpet is blowing right now. You are hearing me right now. The angels are here to be a witness. Everybody is here to be a witness. The almighty God who is the very present rep in time of need is here. Let us come back to the almighty God. I speak with the authority of the king of glory. Ladies and gentlemen, the coming of the Lord is at hand. Be merciful so kindness, so mercy live a holy life get out of sinful activities turn your back to every Adamic nature, turn your back to everything that irritates God do the will of God, what is holiness, holiness is loving what God loves and hating what God hates, fight a good fight of faith, be instanced in season and out of season pray without season, turn away from every appearance of evil be kind, be kind hearted to one another. Love everybody around you. Trust and rely on the almighty God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I scream in the name of the Lord. You will not miss the flight. You will not miss the flight. Now, hear what the prophecy says there. That after sounding the trumpet, just as I have done, after doing that, anybody who hears the sound but doesn't take care, don't, don't worry, people don't worry. It is all about internet technology, social media. People don't worry. Okay, Jesus is coming very soon. That great day is coming. That great day, we're going to look at some surprises this morning. That is why we're here. We're going to look at some surprises. Whether it is true or not, the day is coming. Soon and very soon, we're going to see the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 If anybody dies after hearing the instruction, the blood of that person is upon his own head. It's going to account for himself. Let's go. He heard the sound of the trumpet, but did not take warning. His blood shall be upon himself. Uh -huh. But he who takes warning uh -huh. will save his life. Uh -huh. But if the watchman sees a sword coming uh -huh. and does not blow the trumpet, uh -huh. and the people are not warned, uh -huh. and the sword comes and takes any person from among them, he is taken away in his iniquity. Uh -huh. But his blood I will require at the watchman's hand. Praise the Lord. Now, the watchman has cried this morning. The watchman has cried last Sunday. The watchman is crying now. I'm crying now. Whatever you are doing that is making God happy, don't stop it, children of God. Don't stop it. Your keyboard, your, your drum, every gift God has given unto you is to pave a way for you to the kingdom of God, to, the, to eternity. Hallelujah. 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 What are those things that you are so happy doing? And when you are doing it, you, you, you have a kind of peace in your spirit. Don't stop it. Situations and circumstances are not powerful enough to stop you from fulfilling the purpose of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want us to go to Revelation chapter 22. The reward. Because when you do it the way God wants you to do it, on that day, reward is coming. The rewarder is coming. Revelation chapter 22. Begin to read from verse 12 to 17. We are going to see how the rewarder is going to reward everything you are doing you are not doing in vain what whether people see it or not whether the pastor say thank you or not whether the church recognizes it or announce it or not in fact god is recording everything your reward is coming your reward is coming Every Everything you are doing, every sacrifice, every seed, every prayer, every every standing by, God is going to reward you in the mighty name of Jesus. Revelation 22, verse 17, verse 12. Let's go. And behold, I am coming quickly. I am coming. This is Jesus speaking here. I am coming quickly. Like some people said, Behold, I come quickly. He said he spoke it over 2,000 years ago. And he said quickly. So we don't know how soon is the soon. Watch it. It's coming. The Bible says all the, all the things you have to take notice. It, it, all the things that are happening right now. Wars and rumors of war. And all these pestilences. A pandemic and everything. It said this is not the end yet. This is just the beginning of the end. The end is coming very soon. Everything now that is happening today, the economic pandemonium, the social evil, social troubles that is ravaging the world right now, they are 
facts pointing to the coming of the Lord. If you sleep, if you pray, the Lord will reveal to you. Can I tell you something? The angel, the Lord opened my eyes. The angels are about ready. I see uncountable number of angels. The angels are ready. They are just waiting for the last instruction. They are waiting. Open your eyes. Pray. Let God open your eyes. The angels and millions, they are there with their swords and their weapon of war in the their hands and they are waiting for the instruction of the almighty God where Jesus Christ the, the king of kings and the lord of lords is, is on his knees every day praying on our behalf soliciting before the father because every minute every day the world keeps on getting God hungry the world keeps on doing evil things that God will just cut everything off one time but because of his blood he, he stretched forth his hand and said father look at my hand the, the marks are still there and that is the purpose why he left it there so he can solicit for you he is there the kind God the faithful God the compassionate father Lord God almighty Jesus Christ the prince of peace. I love you. I love you Father. I love you Father. I love you Father. You are the one pleading for us. He is the one pleading for us. If not for Jesus that has been standing the gap for you, where do you think you will be? If not for Jesus that has been standing gap for me, where will I be now? What is my holiness? What will I? What is my self-righteousness? What is your self-righteousness? But we have the grace of God. He is the one He is the one interceding for us every day. So don't let his services go in vain in the presence of the Lord in the mighty name of Jesus. The mercy of God has been extended to you. Judgment is coming. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I come quickly and behold and my reward come on let's read. And my reward is with me. My reward is with me. To give to everyone according I'm to going work. to pay everybody according to your work. Excuse me. There is there is there is there is no discrepancy when you take a picture. You cannot blame the photographer. Your end result. You close one eye and open one and all your teeth outside and now you say, I don't like this picture. Why photographer? Are you sure you are a professional? Why didn't you cover my lips before you print this? Why didn't you open the second eyes? However you position yourself when the photographer is taking your picture, that is how you are going to be. Hallelujah. Anybody may not see you. So it is not possible for me to know the, the gravity in the physical, to know the gravity of your relationship with the almighty God. Check it yourself. You have faith have faith for yourself hallelujah hallelujah even the bible says even the angel of the angel of darkness they at times trans, transform uh, deceitfully to an angel of light just to cause confusion praise the lord praise the lord if you are serving the Lord Jesus Christ at this time, serve him in truth and in spirit, in holiness, absolute holiness, absolute holiness, holiness unto God. That is the key. Praise the Lord. Tap your neighbor. Reward is coming. Reward. Reward is coming. Hallelujah. Let's read on. I am the Alpha and the Omega. I am, oh Lord, I love this. I am the Alpha and the Omega, which means I'm the first. I'm the last. I'm the beginning. I'm the end. Praise the Lord. That means in the beginning of the journey, get God involved and get involved in the things of God. And all truth stay with God and end with God. You started well, you will finish well. Oh, can I hear your amen? amen. God is checking your attitude. He's checking your behavior. He's checking your help. He's checking everything you have, you have done. Either good or bad. Check it yourself now. This is a time of acceptance. This is a time of forgiveness. If you cry unto God before this altar, it is certain you will be forgiven. But if you don't make a change, if you don't change in your attitude, nobody is coming to change for you. Hallelujah. The choice to make it is yours and you will not miss the flight in the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus. Let's read on. The beginning and the 
men, uh -huh. the first and the last. The first and the last. Blessed are those who do his commandments, uh -huh. that they may have the right to the tree of life. Blessed are those who do the commandment of the Lord. Whose command are you keeping? Are you compromising the command of the Lord? He is coming. Jesus is coming. Now listen, let me tell you something. So one of the surprises that will happen that day is you will not know that a curtain will just be opened and everything you thought is hidden that you have done in the past is going to lay bare. Can you imagine? And if you, if you see the secret past of some, you run away. That is why it is good to make a U-turn now. It is good to repent now. It is good to amend your way now. It is when, 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 when there is opportunity because a day is coming when the door of mercy will be shut. This is the time. This is, I'm, going to give, I'm going to give that few minutes before we close the service today. You want to repent. You want to rededicate yourself before the altar of the Lord. You're going to come out. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. If God reveals something to me and I call you, I say, sister, this is what I've seen about you. You need to change. And you say, no, 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 pastor. That's not me. It's okay. Because I, I don't have a physical proof to show it, but you know it yourself that this is the truth. And the silent listener to every conversation, the unseen guest at every meal is coming to check you out. The referee is watching. Hallelujah. 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 Repent now when there is chance for forgiveness. Before the door of mercy shuts down, come back to the almighty God. Make an amendment of your way and receive the peace of the living God so that on that day, on the great day, on that terrible day, you will, you will be rejoicing in the presence of the Lord and you will be among the saints that will be raptured. Hallelujah. Let's read on. I may enter through the gates into the city, Aha. but outside are dogs and sorcerers oh, and God. sexually immoral and murderers and idolaters and whoever loves and practices a lie. I, Jesus, have sent my angel to testify to you these things Hold in it. the church. Hmm. I am the root and the offspring of David, yes. the bright and morning star. Hallelujah. Outside are dogs, not inside. The dogs are not expected to be inside so that they would not mess up the life of the sheep. Where are the dogs? Outside. The outside means in the world. So you cannot miss the pleasure of the world with the pleasure in the church. It is not going to be possible. You have to be in the church and with your two legs standing. Not one leg in and one leg out where the dogs are and where the dogs are there is filthiness where the dogs are there is naughtiness where the dogs are there is worldliness where the dogs are there is riotous living where the dogs are there there is no there is no there is only one law that is operating in there the the the, 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 the ten commandments is inside the eleventh commandment is outside and you know what it is do as you wish praise the lord well, people love that. Do as you wish. But I tell you, judgment is coming on whatever you choose to do. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Let's look at some facts, silent facts. There are some silent facts. I want us to take note before we go this morning. Let's catch a reflection. What is rapture? When all Christian believers who are alive along with resurrected believers will rise in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. May God count us worthy. May the almighty God count us worthy. Let's look at the great days. The great day surprises number one. Watch this. The days are separate those whose lives are hidden in Christ from those who are hiding in the church. It's possible to be in the church and hearts to attendance is your heart in the church. It's your heart in the church. Are you in the church in absolute holiness? Do you implicitly trust in the almighty God for Christ's sake? When there is nobody there to assess your credibility, 
God is there. God is watching you. Conscience is there. Because when you lie, you know you are lying. And the owner of lie knows you have just borrowed something from him. Hallelujah. Lies does not belong to the kingdom. It belongs to the devil, isn't it? Because the Bible describes Satan as a liar and the father of lies. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. On that day, <laughs> when every secret will come open, it's going to separate those whose life are hidden in the Lord Jesus Christ uh, uh, from those who are hiding in the church. Who are you? I'm a Christian. Where is your church? That's my church. What is your involvement? May I call me? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Let's look at Luke chapter 36, chapter 13, verse 26. Then you will say, we ate and drank with you and you taught in our streets. You're going to be telling Christ like that. But he will reply, I don't know you or where you come from. Away from me, all you evildoers. So a time is coming when people will knock at the door of mercy and it is locked. It is shut. The door of mercy will not be shut on you. In the mighty name of Jesus. Not just as I watch what have mercy on us, O oh Lord. Have mercy on us. This is the mercy time. This is the compassionate time. This is the time of mercy. And if you want mercy from God, also practice mercy. Give mercy to somebody. Be merciful to someone so that you can receive mercy. May the Lord bless us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He said that when, when that day comes, they are going to knock at the door. Say, ah, you know, when you are doing your revival, we are there. Uh, even you, you taught in our streets. You did this, you did that. When you were jingling the bell, I was the one dancing in front. And so when you say, uh, praise the Lord, I was the one that shouted the Lord, hallelujah, amen, somebody. I was the one. And Jesus said, I am going to tell you. I don't know you. Get away from me. You evil doers. That will not be your portion. That will not be your portion in the mighty name of Jesus. Let me take the second surprise. The days are so a glaring, clear, conspicuous demarcation between Christians who walk on the path of holiness from those who walk on the path of worldliness. Two different things. There are so many ways of practicing Christianity. They call, they call some Christian modern day Christians. Modern day Christianity. Christianity that knows version. Christianity that, that, that celebrates everything that is going on in the world. Christianity that gets you drunk before you enter the church. Christianity that carries food with it. Christianity that introduces definitely satanic dancing in the presence of God. Christianity that lies. Christianity that, that fake speaking in tongues. Skelego, skelega. Christianity that speaks different kind of things. Oh, the co 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 Different kinds of speaking in tongues where they are teaching this Christianity that lies, Christianity that uses a kind of spiritual marketing strategy in order to fool the ignorance that are seen in that Christianity that doesn't embrace holiness, Christianity that doesn't fear God, Christianity that just make mention the name of the Lord, but there is no fear of God. God is not in that congregation. I can tell you that. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. On that day everything people call this is big thing this is holiness we will know it on that day praise the lord praise the lord one thing i noticed this day truth is not celebrated but lies are welcome truth is not celebrated when where the, where the truth is being echoed you you hardly you had you had when you say praise the lord very, very few people will, say, will respond. Praise the Lord. You see now. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Uh -huh. Hallelujah. It is well. The days are so a glaring, clear, conspicuous demarcation between Christians who work on the path of holiness from those who work on the path of worldliness. Walk in the path of holiness. Hallelujah. 
Hebrews 12, 14. Make every effort to live in peace with everyone and to be holy. Without holiness, no one will see God. Without holiness, no one will see God. Let them see holiness and, and faithfulness in your place of work, in your attitude. Let them know the kind of spirit that works in you among your community and your friends. Let them know that this is a child of God. Your attitude, your fruit. The Bible says by their fruits, you shall know them. Anywhere you show up, let holiness show up. Let faithfulness show up. People will love you for who you are. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Well, you might find yourself going through a certain situation. Devil is pressing you so that you can just give up. Don't give up. The devil is a liar. Keep on doing the will of God. You are coming out of that. In the mighty name of Jesus. Without holiness, no one will see God. Let's look at principle number three. It shall be a day of double emotion. Hmm. Joy for some and unimaginable, indescribable, uncontrollable regrets for others. That day is going to be full of surprises. Look at 28. There will be weeping there and gnashing of teeth. When you see Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and all the prophets and the kingdom of God, but you yourselves thrown out, that is not going to be your portion. You will not be thrown out. Say, I will not be thrown out by his grace, by his mercy. I'm going to make it. Do the will of God. Follow the instruction. Follow the scripture. Pray instantly. Don't turn your back to what is right. Don't turn your back to holiness. If you do this on that day, you will rejoice in the presence of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's, number four, it shall be a day of surprises. Some big names. Hmm may miss the flight while some less known may be on board. So it is not for you to conclude on anybody. You cannot say, this person cannot make heaven. Who told you that? He goes there ahead of you. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Some big names. What do we mean by these big names? Highly recognized. When they are coming, you know that yes, this person is coming. Mighty, mighty, mighty people. Great, great, great people. People that speaks one time and 10,000 people sneezes. People, big people. They have everything within their fingertip. They control everything. They are highly powerful. Highly famous, highly influential, but in the presence of the Lord, they are less than a cockroach. Some big names, excuse me, big names as we as, as we qualify it in this world is not the same thing in the presence of God. He says, Who among of who you wants to be the greatest? Some and whoever wants to be the greatest among you said the people of this world, the leaders of this world, the Lord over their subject. But among you, it's not going to be so. Whoever wants to be great among you, will be the smallest. He's going to be the slave among you. Everybody will send him here and there. And then you see your soul land that they are just sending him every year. Do you don't worry. That's the big person in the presence of the Lord. And they will say, who is the greatest in the kingdom? Say, whoever sees the word of truth and is accepting it, practicing it, and teaching others to do so, such is the greatest in the, in, in the kingdom of God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We are not the right thing, don't you? Don't you know what God wants of you? Don't you know the right thing? We know it, everybody here. We know the right thing. Our conscience tells us when we are wrong, you feel guilty inside. You feel it, isn't it? The day that stops in you, you have been disconnected from God. Hallelujah. We are all human beings. We make mistakes. Quickly go to God. Bow down before him and ask him to forgive you. He is a loving and caring father. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Big names may miss the flight. Why some less known? People you don't even recognize. God told me one day, I'm raising new kings. They, they are never known. Some people that you, you, you just see them and look, look down on people. Don't look down on anybody because you don't know what is inside. Hallelujah. 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 Ah, your glory will not depart from you. 
in the mighty name of Jesus. There are some people, they are not known. Their names are not heard. People don't even recognize them, this world. But they are so big in the presence of God. They are so mighty in the presence of the Lord. How do you assess a big church, a big and powerful church before the Lord? Is it by number of the attendance? Of course, no. Of course, no. Because the Bible says we are two or more shall agree together as touching anything, whatever they bind on earth is bound in heaven. Whatever they lose on earth is loose in heaven. In other words, say we are two or more agree together. I am there with them. What makes you great is the presence of God. Is God in your midst? Hallelujah. The Lord is here. The Lord is here. Everybody say the Lord is here. Say Jesus is here. We know it. Jesus is here. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You will be surprised on that day. Some people you thought would be number one in the kingdom will miss the flight. Some powers that are highly recognized but in the, in the, in the kingdom of black world, they are officers and stars there. They are nothing in the presence of the Lord but you cannot know. That is why you have to be very careful who lays hand on you. Praise the Lord. 1 Corinthians chapter 1 verse 27. But God chose the foolish things of the world to shame the wise. God chose the weak things of the world to shame the strong. God chose the lowly things of this world and the despised things and the things that are not to nullify the things that are so that no one may boast before him. Praise the Lord. The weak things of this world unrecognized people are mighty before the Lord. Don't look for validation of people. Let heaven validate you. Don't look for recognition. Don't leave, look for cheap popularity. Just between the will of God. At your appointed time, the Lord will lift you up. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I want to, I want you to pay particular attention to principle number five. Another surprise may be Hmm. that a man or woman who had faithfully served the Lord for many years may defile his or her garment a few minutes before the sound of the summoning trumpet and miss the flight. This is terrible. I want you to bow down your head and say, help me, Lord. Help me, Lord. I will not break down at the eve of my breakthrough. You have been enduring it since all these days. Lord, have mercy. You better repent of your sins right now. This is the moment of repentance. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Can you, can you look at this? It's, it's very dangerous. Somebody who, have been, who has been very obedient, very loyal, very faithful, serving the Lord, enduring everything, enduring shame, enduring sacrifices, sowing seed, serving the Lord, praying, fasting. We will soon start 30 days fasting. You don't miss anyone there. How can we hear it that upon all days, on that day, such a person misses the flight? Hmm? Father have mercy on us. May the Lord have mercy on us. Another surprise may be that a man, listen carefully, a woman who had faithfully served the Lord for many years may defile his or her garments a few minutes before the sound of that summoning trumpet and miss the flight while a notorious sinner may surrender his or her life to Jesus within the same time frame and go to heaven. Last minute. And he says, Lord, I surrender my life to you. I'm tired of this sinful life. I'm tired of this wild life I'm living. I surrender my life. I accept the Lord Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior right now. And the trumpet sounds. All his life he has committed terrible offenses. And just at the last minute, he repents and he goes to heaven. And somebody who has been serving the Lord Jesus Christ, somebody who has been who has been obedient, holy, righteous, somebody who has been using gifts in the house of God, 
Somebody who has been who, who has been a, a tremendous blessing to the people, to the church, and everybody is saying this is the anointing of God. This is this is this is glory. Somebody who is a vessel unto honor in the house of the Lord. Now watch that word defile his garments. Situation and circumstances can make you to compromise. The things we are going through now can make you to compromise. Pandemic has made so many people to compromise right now. Some are at their freezing point. There is no fire, no light in them. The spirit, the faith is dead totally right now. They are captured already. We pray every day and night that God will touch their heart and bring them back to his presence. Hallelujah. Situation and circumstances can make you to turn against what you said you are not going to do again. again. Praise the Lord. Situation and circumstances can make a dog to go back to his formate. He said if you defile your garment, your garment must be holy. Soak your garment in the blood of Jesus. Right now, this is the opportunity and that is why I'm crying to you right now you have to clean your garment. Go, go and drop your garment. Soak it in the blood of Jesus. It's only the blood of Jesus that can cleanse you. Hallelujah. 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 Don't get your garment spotted with sin. Praise God. Because anybody with a filthy garment is definitely not going to go anywhere. And the person who has just repented, the garment is changed immediately. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Ezekiel 3. Ezekiel 3.20. Again, when a righteous person turns from their righteousness and does evil, I, and I put a stumbling block before them, they will die. Since you did not want them, they will die for their sin. The righteous things that person, the righteous things that person did, watch that, will not be remembered. If a righteous person changes right now to go back to the world and have a taste of sin. All the good works he has been doing. Ha! Jesus have mercy. All the good works is nullified. It will never be remembered. This is, this is, this is, this is terrible. How many years of holiness? How many years of righteousness? How many years of sacrifice? How many years of, of, of obedience? How many years just turning one time and the end just come like that? That will not be our portion in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, let's read that verse 21. But if you do want the righteous person not to sin, and they do not sin, they will surely leave because they took warning and you will have saved yourself. So when you see some people dying around you, what do you do? Speak to them with love. Ezekiel chapter 18 verse 24. But if a righteous person turns from their righteousness and commits sin and does, and does the same detectable things the wicked person does, will they leave? None of the righteous things that person had done will be remembered. Because of the unfaithfulness they are guilty of and because of the sins they have committed, they will die. Praise the Lord. Just look back and see how many years of faithfulness you have put in. How many years of, of, of self-denial you have put in. How many years of sowing mercy and uh, endurance of problems in order to keep others going. How many years of, of, of covering other people's nakedness. How many years of feeding the thirsty. How many years of putting your hard and currency together to keep the work going, the, the work of God going. How many years of faithfulness you have given in helping families near and far. How many years of, 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 of covering other people's nakedness, of protecting them. Remember how many years, how many years of prayer and fasting in order to keep others going. When people are sick, you cry, you shed tears, you cry unto God and God answer you. How many years of humanitarian something? How many years of, of mercy you have given? How many years for Christ's sake? How many years of help? How many years of taking care of the orphanage that you have given? How many years? How many years of protecting people? How many years of spending your money on other people's children? How many years will this go in vain? Never, never, never in the mighty name of Jesus. You will not labor in vain. Oh, can I hear 
hear your amen. You will not labor in vain. 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 Your work will not go in vain. In the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Let's look at Ezekiel 33, 12. Therefore, son of man, say it to your people, if someone who is righteous disobeys, you see, th these three scriptures are just hammering the same thing. Okay? Therefore, son of man, say to your people, if someone who is righteous disobeys, that person from a righteousness, we can't fall nothing. From a righteousness, we can't fall nothing. Let us be very careful. Let's be very careful. Whatever you are doing now that is pleasing God, don't stop it. Be very careful. Hallelujah. And if someone who is wicked repents, that person's former wickedness will not bring condemnation. Look at it. So a witch can kill and come back to God. A destroyer, kidnapper, terrible people can change right now, cry unto God with true repentance. Remember, Whoever comes to me, I will in no wise cast out. That's the word of God. The righteous person who sins will not be allowed to live even though they were formerly righteous. Ha! Ah. The righteous person will not, who sin will not be allowed to live even though they were formerly righteous. The criteria for judgment is only known by God. Praise God. Hmm. If I tell a righteous person that they will surely live, but then they trust in their righteousness and do evil, none of the righteous things that person has done will be remembered. They will die for the evil they have just done. I beg you, in the name of the Lord, this morning, Check yourselves. Don't stand on the oars of yesterday's righteousness. Continue to fear God. Continue to fear God. Be merciful. Practice holiness. Obedience. When we call a meeting, get in there. The, the angel will mark you right. They will not put zero on your register. Called Bible class, be there. Night vigil, be there. And all this going up and down will never be in vain. In the mighty name of Jesus, the Lord is worthy. Hallelujah. 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 Blessed be the name of the Lord. Lord let, let's take one more and then we pray. Number six. This event may happen now, today. This week, this month, this year, or next year, anytime. And anybody's Jesus can arrive at any time. Matthew 24, 36. But about that day or hour, no one knows. Not even the angels in heaven. No, the Son, but only the Father. Don't live your life as if there is no tomorrow. Don't live life as if <clears throat> there is no ending. Whatever has a beginning also have a end. Whether you are going through a particular situation right now, don't worry, you are coming out of it. And if you, if you are privileged to be a help to somebody right now, thank God for it. It's a seed for you. And a harvest is coming. Everything we do, harvest is coming. Either good or bad, harvest is coming. Either people know you or not, harvest is coming. Reward is coming. And may God give us a great reward. Hallelujah. Well, you see, that, 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 that is rather considered as a statement than prayer. Because whether you say amen or not, reward is according to what you do. Praise the Lord. Let us not become weary in doing good. For at the proper time, we will reap a harvest if we do not give up. Let me close with this. There were two friends. One of them was a very faithful child of God. 
And all these days he has been preaching to his friend. That one was just bruising and drinking beer all around. He doesn't want to go to church. Tell some people about church. Now, now they laugh. Because there are different kinds of things. They are just shopping online. Shopping online. Within one hour they go to about five, six churches. And then, and then that's all for the day. They are dying spiritually every day. And social things of this world is overtaking their, their highway of thinking. Praise the Lord. So this man was, was so deep in the world, enjoying himself, womanizing, fornicating. The, the, the kind of, there is nothing he doesn't refer to, living a, a wild and riotous life. But this other guy was very faithful to the almighty God, and uh, God delights in him. To, but uh, you know, when people, people who are faithful like that, Satan is always, is always brandishing them, he's always pressurizing on them so that uh, maybe one day they're going to compromise, you will not compromise. So one day this man just, just, he just woke up in the morning and he said, well, I have been doing all faithfulness since all these days. Eh? I've, I've been standing up for people in prayer. God has been answering them. What is my own answer? What is my own answer? I think, I, think uh, I have to go to my friend now. Let me go to my friend. Let, let him show me how to enjoy because look at him, he's enjoying and he's booming. He's enjoying and he's breaking. He's enjoying and he's booming. He's doing everything. Let me go to him. He made up his mind. Let me, I will come back to Jesus. In his heart, he has defiled his garment. In his heart, he has compromised. There's a crack already in him. He has denounced the Lord Jesus Christ. So he left. He was going to meet his friend. At the same time, the other guy woke up in the morning and he was fed up of life. He was tired. He was fed up, totally fed up. And he said, well, all this life I'm living. I have lost the account of ladies I have, I have had an experience of. I have lost account of uh, abortion, of fornication, of different kind of things, riotous life, fraudulent living, different kinds of things. He said, well, why did I not die since all these days? Then there must be a God. I think I'm tired of this life. Let me go to my friend so that he can show me the way to the Lord Jesus Christ. And he knelt down and said, Lord Jesus, if you can have me, this is me. Forgive me all my stupid lives Forgive. I know it's too many, but if you can forgive me, forgive me from today. I'm tired of life. I, am, I accept you as my Lord and Savior. So let me go to my friend so that he can show me how to serve the Lord Jesus Christ. So he left his home. The other friend who had just disconnected from Jesus left home. And they are just coming. And they met on the, on the high street. Oh, my friend, do you know I am just coming to your house? And that one also said, look, I'm just coming to your house. Why are you looking like this? Well, I'm just fed up of life. I just want to, I just say I should come to you so you can show me. Why, as he was saying, so you can show me. A car ran over the two of them on the street. And they died instantly. Now tell me, church, who goes to heaven? Rise up on your feet.